Autoglim make not one, not two, but three different car shampoos. The question is why and what's the difference between them? So according to Autoglim, this is a question that they get asked quite a lot. Why have you got three different shampoos? And I, I guess it's a fair question. What's the difference between them? Uh, well, in this video today, I'm going to address the difference between them, why you would use perhaps one over the other, and I'll show you them uh, in use on my car's bonnet. Uh, just to get an idea, uh, it might help you decide which one you would prefer to buy. So um, the first we're going to look at here is Pure Shampoo. Let's see if we can get a good view there, that's it. Uh, pure Shampoo is a pH neutral shampoo, um, so it's safe on any waxes or any kind of protection on your car. It won't um, negatively impact on those. Um, it's also, um, it apparently has a, a squeaky clean paint work. Um, it is a high foaming shampoo. If you like that kind of thing, if you prefer a shampoo which is very foamy, very sudsy, um, then this will be the one to use. Um, it's pure for a reason. It used to be called bodywork shampoo. It's now called pure shampoo. Um, the reason it's pure is because it doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't leave any film behind. It doesn't leave anything on the paint at all. It is just a completely pure shampoo. Nothing else, no additives, no waxes, no protectants, nothing at all. So that's pure shampoo. Uh, the second is one of their most well-known, probably the most well-known shampoo, and that is uh, Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. Now this one does leave something behind. It is also pH neutral. It's not high foaming like the Pure Shampoo. It's a lot less foamy. Um, however, what it does do is it leaves behind uh, a film of protection. It says it leaves um, a water repellent film which will cause the water to sheet off your car quickly. I've seen that in action before, but I'll show you that today, um, is that it dries quite quickly um, and does help to repel water later. So it's like a wash and wax to a certain extent there. It does have something. It doesn't say wax specifically. So there's something in here that helps to repel water when it's raining and things like that. It would be perhaps useful as a, a top up if you've got some protection on your car already putting this on top it won't negatively impact any of your uh, waxes or sealants that you've got on there but it'll help to add a, just a fresh coating of repellency to the paint um, the last one is ultra high definition shampoo it comes in this mega funky classy box here and uh, it's a much bigger bottle that you get for this one um, those come in bigger sizes i should point out uh, but this one comes in, I think it's just this one litre size. Now, ultra high definition is a, a luxurious shampoo. Uh, let me give you a, a close up there. This really is a much more luxurious shampoo. This is for pampering your car. If you already have um, some wax or sealant on your car's paint, um, this would be especially good if you already have ultra high definition wax on your paint. Um, this will go on top. This will wash it very nicely. Apparently it smells gorgeous. You can smell it when it's in the bottle. You can smell it when you're washing your car. So there's a, a bit of pampering going on there. This is the, the fancy one. Um, so we're gonna look at the difference in the uh, dilution ratios. This one doesn't mention how many washes you'll get. So I'm going to have to figure out the, the maths on that one. But uh, what I do like about the other two is that they mention along these bars down here that they have, they'll give you up to 25 washes. So that's quite good. At least you get an idea of how many washes you're paying for when you buy these. Um, the ultra high definition doesn't mention that, uh, doesn't say it on the box that I can tell. Uh, so I'll work it out with the maths uh, for how much product. And uh, then we're gonna go and give each one of these a test on the car. All right, so I have three buckets of water here. They have been filled with approximately 10 liters of water and i'm going to uh, add the shampoo as we go so to start off pure shampoo this says it is uh, like i say it's a more sudsy uh, shampoo uh, leaves nothing behind 
Now I checked on the uh, mixture ratio of this. Um, they say two capfuls uh, into a bucket of 10 liters of warm or cold water. Well, I measured all of the caps and each capful holds roughly 10 milliliters of shampoo. So we're talking 20 mil of shampoo to 10 liters of water. That's not bad at all. That's a pretty decent ratio. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at this one here. So two capfuls into this bucket and then I'm going to spray some water into the, the bucket just to find out how foamy it goes. So there's one. Actually, let's get more of that out there. I don't want to get this wrong. Two. All right. Two capfuls. Now we'll just grab the hose and uh, we'll agitate that through, find out how soapy and foamy it is. I don't want to add too much water to change the ratio there, but there we go. And it's uh, fully mixed up. Doesn't change the color of the water or anything. Decent amount of foamy bubbles there. So let's move on to the next shampoo. Move this one. So here's the uh, ultra high definition shampoo. They say a similar thing. They say four capfuls into a bucket of 10 liters of warm or cold water. So this is a, a one liter bottle. The other two are 500 milliliter bottles there. So if they say two capfuls to 10 liters and this says four capfuls to 10 liters, so you're using more product from here, but it would last the same number of washes as the other two. So just uh, so you know about that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to smell the pure shampoo. Hold on. I forgot to smell this. So give it a sniff. Oh, that's a, uh, it's, it's chemically, but quite pleasant. So um, let's actually use the nozzle to squirt some smell. Yeah, that's okay. It's it's not uh, it's not overly perfumed, but it's quite nice. Apparently, ultra high definition shampoo smells amazing. Let's um, pop this open, give it a smell. <sighs> yeah, that's much nicer. It's quite fruity. Very nice smelling, actually. Very very nice. All right, so let's get another drop in here. So we're going to have to have four capfuls into this bucket. Oh, and it's quite clear, the, um, the pure shampoo was kind of purple. This is almost clear. If you look into the bottle, it's a little bit yellowy. But um, in the cap, it is almost clear. Maybe a tinge of yellow there. That's what that looks like. It does look like it's a slightly thicker, um, more viscous shampoo, shall we say? So there's, oh, it's taking its time to come out. Come on. There's three. Speed this along a bit. Come on, get out. And, okay, there we go, four. Okay, that's all out. Now we will squirt some water into that and see how it foams. Yeah, the, um, the pure shampoo was foamy. This one seems to foam faster, in my opinion. It does seem to have more bubbles on the go. The water is, it's like less clear, if <laughs> that makes any sense. I don't know, it just seems that there's much more going on in this bottle. So it really is, you are doubling up the amount of shampoo, obviously, um, but not bad, it's, that's quite foamy. And I can smell it in the bucket too. So next shampoo to move on to, which will be the Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. Uh, so is that in the frame? Yeah, there we go. So let's go on to the most common again, two capfuls of this. 
Oh, and it's very, very green, like sour green, apple kind of green. It's thinner as well, you can maybe see that. It's a lot less viscous. It's a bit more runny than the other two, I think, and that must have something to do with the, um, the water repellency, perhaps, the, the conditioners that they have in there. You can definitely see that in there, and apparently this is less foamy, if you prefer less foam. So let's agitate this one. Well, it's not that much less foamy. <laughs> Perhaps it makes a difference on the, the paintwork on the bonnet. Uh, so let's give them a try now on the paint. So the first one I'm going to use will be the pure shampoo because it has absolutely nothing in it. So let me just grab my wash mitt and the bucket. So I'm going to use this chenille microfiber wash mitt, get it soaked. And I'm going to soak, uh, wash one third of the bonnet here on this side. Is it particularly foamy? Well, not at the moment. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Takes a minute to appear. So there's some bubbles, if you like bubbles on your shampoo. Um, I should point out that probably doesn't make a difference how much your shampoo foams. I think it's a, just a personal preference thing of how you like your shampoo, but it shouldn't really make much of a difference. Um, if the shampoo has any lubrication in it, that'll be built into the shampoo. That will be nothing to do with the foam itself. But there you go. That's what pure shampoo looks like. So let's rinse this wash mitt out and move on to the next one, which will be ultra high definition in the middle. Okay, so here's ultra high definition, very foamy, very sudsy, I like that. Let's wash the middle section here. It does seem to be more, dare I say it, luxurious. There's more foam going on here, if you like that kind of thing. I would have thought this would be the case because being a luxurious shampoo and using twice as much shampoo in the bucket of water, I would assume that this uh, is going to be more foamy, more soapy. It does seem to glide, it does have a bit more lubrication. It feels just a bit more slick on the paint than the pure shampoo did. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, I can, sm <laughs> I can smell it in the wash mitt. So that's uh, ultra high definition shampoo there. Let's try the third one. So here we are on to the Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. It has lost some of its foam in the bucket, so perhaps they were right. The initial foam up was good, but uh, as the time has gone on, the foam has seemed to disappear. So we've got plenty on the mitt, and yeah, it's not particularly foamy on the panel. Uh, however, it does contain, apparently, these water repelling agents and things to enhance the shine and gloss on your paint. That would be nice um, to add extra looks. So it's like a wash and wax, but not wax. It must be something else. If it was a wax, I'm sure they would have mentioned that. So it's got to be something else, some other kind of water repelling chemical. So there we have them, all three done. Let's uh, grab the hose, rinse them off, and then uh, we'll watch them dry as well. I'm going to take you across here and have a look now. It's been drying for about five minutes or so. And uh, you can see this is the side which has the uh, Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. And it is drying more on this, uh, this flat panel here and a little bit there than on the ultra high definition side. There's a little bit of drying going on there. This is the uh, pure shampoo side here. And it's, uh, it's staying relatively wet in this straight line, coming all the way down. Uh, there's that funky, you can see that, iridescent effect as it dries. See that there? 
So as it's evaporating, it's doing that. Now, Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner does that. I've seen it do it. Um, I just don't think I can find any of those bits right now. Maybe, oh, here we go. Let's have a look right there as it's evaporating. And you can see it evaporating. You can see it disappearing. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It really shows up <laughs> how bad the paint looks. This is terrible. This has not been well looked after, this car. But that's fine by me because it's something I can use to uh, make new videos on. So there we go. Basically dry. A few streaks to get off there. Okay, so dry now. What's the, uh, the verdict on gloss or looks? Do I see any real difference between them? Uh, mm, not really. Honestly, not really. I think maybe if the, the paint was well looked after, you might see a difference. But on an old bonnet like this, there's not an enormous difference between them. Uh, it's more going to be about your regular maintenance routine how you like to look after your car, uh, if you've got any protection on it. So there you go, there's no real difference to the after, um, but during the ultra high definition shampoo was definitely more slick, more sudsy, a bit more luxurious, certainly smelled fantastic. The pure shampoo was well, relatively foamy actually, not bad. Uh, definitely a lot less foam over on the um, the bodywork shampoo conditioner side, but they also mentioned the water repellency. So let's uh, let's give that a test. I wonder if we can just bring you in a bit closer there. Let's go across here and uh, zoom in, and we'll find out if it does indeed leave any kind of uh, protection. We've got a mist mode here. All right, I've just uh, put it across the whole bonnet there. So let's uh, let's get a closer look here now. So on the uh, the bodywork shampoo conditioner side, is there any kind of protection? Well, there is uh, some beading going on there, so it's doing something. Um, now let's move across to the ultra high definition side here, and uh, in this center section, there is well, it's not exactly beading but it's kind of trying to repel, <clears throat> not exactly a lot. And then over on the side with the pure shampoo, it's not really tight beads or anything. Let's, um, let's give that one more go with a wide shot and uh, let's have a look again on mist. Let's give it some more actually. Yeah, the, uh, the side on the right there does try to push the water off a bit more. Let's, uh, let's give it some more, more water. So pure shampoo side over there kind of sits flat. Ultra high definition center section. It does try to repel a bit from the top there. And then the bodywork shampoo conditioner side. Seems to be, ah yeah, you can definitely see it is trying to repel that water pretty quickly there compared to the other two sides it's really pushing off quite fast there. So there is a water repellent um, aspect to that shampoo for definite. Um, over on this side, the, uh, the pure shampoo side, not bad actually, it's, it's kind of trying to sheet the water away. So there is a difference. I mean, that side's almost dry now. Compared to here, that's almost dry. So that really did make a difference, that second rinse uh, after drying it. 
I just wanted to show you the difference in the buckets after washing. So over here is the uh, pure shampoo side, still relatively sudsy and foamy, uh, which is quite nice to have. The, this is the ultra high definition, definitely much more foamy. Obviously it uses twice the amount of shampoo, but it still foams well. And they do mention on the bottle that that foam will stay to the end of your wash. Will that stay to the end? I don't know. And then over here, the uh, shampoo conditioner one, which, well, if you agitate it, you'll get some bubbles, but it's nowhere near the amount. You can definitely see a big difference. Much more foam here. This one's in the middle. This one is the worst for foam, but the best for adding that uh, water repellency, if that's something you're after. So how do you figure out the best uh, shampoo for you out of the three? Which one would be useful to you? Well, I would, I would say it like this. If you want something which is really slick, if you have a well cared for car and you have some protection on it already, and you want a nice, slick, foamy, um, luxurious shampoo, the UHD shampoo is excellent for that. Actually, it's really good. Um, definitely really slick. Obviously you're using twice the amount of shampoo, uh, but you also get a, a bottle that's twice the size of these two. Obviously you can buy larger versions of these, but um, like I said, it, you're using double the amount, but there's double the amount in the water, uh, in the bottle as well. So um, that's a really nice, super slick, super sudsy, nice smelling, um, continuously foaming shampoo. So if that's what you're after, that's definitely worth a buy. If you're looking for a shampoo which doesn't have any kind of impact on, on anything at all, if, you, if you're not looking to add anything to your car's paint, if you've already got a good wax or sealant and you don't want anything else to interfere and you're just looking for a good shampoo to, to clean off the dirt and help that, that protection that you've already got on the car show better, then uh, pure shampoo, it foams quite well, smells decent, um, not really strong, but again, a good dilution ratio there. You're talking about 20 mil of shampoo to 10 liters of water. 10 liters is more than enough to be able to wash your car. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good actually, if, you, if you're not looking to add anything extra. If you're looking for, or you prefer a kind of wash and wax, you want to add some protection while you go, perhaps you don't have time to add much in the way of protection, like waxes, like sealants, anything like that, um, then Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner is a pretty decent product. It's, it's probably their most well-known, and I think it's definitely their most popular shampoo as it is at the moment. Um, and it does add protection. You could see there that it was repelling water. And as I look across at the car just now, that side of the bonnet is practically dry. The other two, not quite. So there was definitely more water repellency going on with this shampoo. Um, again, same amount of shampoo used for your water compa uh, compared to these two. Um, overall, um, you will use 20 mil of shampoo to 10 liters of water. Um, I think it's I think it's good if you if you just want to wash, get maybe a little bit of gloss. I couldn't really see anything different there. There wasn't wasn't anything that really massively stood out. But if you washed over your whole car, you may well receive uh, a little bit of an extra glossy shine to the car. Um, then that is a decent product. So they are all good in their own right. But there is one more shampoo they make. I should relevance. Uh, I should reference this. I should talk about this just in case somebody pipes up in the comments and mentions it. They do a fourth shampoo, and I'll grab it now, but it's not technically this kind of shampoo. It's this one, Polar Wash. Now, this is not a regular kind of shampoo. I mean, I guess you could put it into a bottle, but that's not the, the purpose for this product. Let me show you up close there. This is a product which is designed to be applied to your car via a pressure washer and a snow foam bottle. Um, if you want to check out how it works, I made a video called uh, the Autoglim Polar Range Review. Um, I will link to it up here somewhere uh, for you to check out. That's definitely a good shampoo, but this is one where you spray it onto your car first and then move it around rather than adding it to a bottle, uh, to a bucket. I, I guess you could put this into a bucket and it would work as a, a shampoo, but it applies in a different way. So just in case anyone pipes up and says, well, actually they do four shampoos. Yeah, I know. But as far as shampoo in a bucket is concerned, these are the three to look at. And uh, now you know the difference between them. So 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel. It certainly helps. And make sure you hit the notification bell for when my next video goes up. Uh, in the meantime, I've been Specky and I'll see you in the next video.